Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Sarah here and you'll see ahead of me <laughs> um, is Gareth and we are out on a little afternoon coffee day. I've finished work Good early. Time. I'm Good. out of time. <laughs> time. <laughs> I finished work early today. I'm working from home at the moment uh, with my job so it's quite handy that if it's a beautiful day outside I can just finish early and um, jump out on the bike and go so that's what we're doing yeah. um, so we're heading up to a starbucks <laughs> um, yeah. yay, yay for starbucks. <laughs> i am that person who loves starbucks sorry all you americans that think that that's like simple people things but i don't really care to be honest so um they have just recently brought out the pink drink in the uk so we are off to try it and see what it is like compared to the pink drinks in America because that's the only other place that I have it and it is my go-to on arrival in the States each time to go is a trendy if possible <laughs> pink drink. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, think, I think the sales in uh, downtown Disney uh, or Disney Springs, sorry, and Universal or Handel go down where we can't get over I know. On the pink drink, right? They're like, they're saying, why? Why are, we these, why are we not selling these drinks? Oh, they could Scottish beer doors aren't here at the moment. Yeah, I've not, not seen them in a while. Yeah, exactly. The thing is, we used to always, um, when we were going to things like Universal, we had started off at one point, we would drive from like our condo to the Starbucks kind of in the vicinity of Universal. Yeah. And, yeah. and sit on the corner there, wouldn't we? And like have a drink there. but. Then we discovered that when we go annual passes that we get a discount and actually it works out better for us just to actually go to Universal directly and... Well, one of the things I've always said is it's like you get to the parks early, right? And everybody wants to go to like, what, like you know, a like Universal Studios Isles Adventure and they want to get in the gate. Yeah. Because the bit that bugs everybody, it's not the actual what's going on in the park, it's the parking off a vehicle, standing in the queue and waiting to get into the place in the first in, in, the, in, in, the, in the first case. Yeah. Right? So the way that I see it is so if we get off early enough, mm -hmm. we get the car parked, we get a ticket, we get in, and then it's like so it's still early, you know, like before Buddy God wakes. Yeah. And uh, we can go to the big Starbucks and sort of city walk if that's where we are that day. Mm -hmm. And then we get our drinks and then we turn around and say, well, that's us, we're here. We just need now to wake up a little bit yep. and then and go. So, mm -hmm. I mean, so that is probably half the reason why we... That's probably half the reason why we were addicted to Starbucks in the first place. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> we have a... It's, it's not motorcycles we're addicted to. We have a Starbucks problem. Starbucks problem, totally. I know. Starbucks. Like, I... Know. I like our, our Starbucks in our local town, the reason why we don't go there so much is because it's in a cinema and it, yeah. the prices are a little bit higher, I think, in the cinema one compared to yeah. an average Starbucks. And then when That's you think great. how much Starbucks can be, and normally it is like even pricier than some other like Costa and all that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. It's definitely, we'd rather take the wee ride to another Starbucks. Um, yeah. I have quite a few out with the town, which is handy, so yeah, well, good excuse. Think, well, it's almost like it's another reason to take the bike, isn't it? You know, we can, we take a we take a water bike out and we can kind of do both. We've got a little uh, seat, we've got a little seat in the area, and we can park the bikes up and we can have a coffee, and then the uh, the ride is it left here, isn't it? Yeah, it's left. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, the, the ride the ride home's nice as well, so we mm. we can take advantage of the whole situation. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that's like so this is like we only discover Starbucks is quite new, though, isn't it? Is, is it not quite like only like a couple of about a year old? What's that? Know, this one, this uh, Starbucks. Yeah, I don't. Well, we're saying that, but maybe we just never really paid attention when we were up this way before. Yeah, that's um, true. I mean, it looks fairly new to be to be honest. That's but true. Um, you, need, you need to ask everybody in the audience then, like, you know, are they, uh, who is a Starbucks, you know, connoisseur? Are they, are they Starbucks or Costa or are they, what other, what other coffee shops do they have in the States? I can't really remember. Yeah. Jo Joffrey's? Joffrey's, 
special things. Um, I think a lot of people go to like Duncan for their coffee as oh, well. Duncan Donuts, uh, mm. I think there's like a, not that I've seen it on TikTok, but I've heard of it on TikTok. Yeah. Uh, TikTok like Duncan Donuts drink that you can ask for. Oh, right, okay. It's like an ice, uh, it's like an iced coffee, but I mean not a lot of people like iced coffee, right enough. But I I'm a, a, you don't really bother about iced coffee, do you? You're, uh, um, I, I, I can't believe we're having a whole conversation about coffee on the YouTube. This is just like, everyone who's watching this right now is thinking, they guys are writing Harleys to go for a cup of coffee. Yep. Yes, we, yes, we are. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, we are. You know, this, is, this is the reason why you have a motorcycle like closing up. Well, why not? <laughs> why the hell not? Why the, why the hell not? So one of the things that, you know, if everybody can actually hear what I'm talking about right now, mm-hmm. and I don't come across as a muffled mess, is uh, is this like this center system? Remember, we're still quite you, you, This is still bizarre to us that we can still have a conversation. Yeah. You know, I'm. I, I don't know what he's going to be thinking. Or uh, what are these two been up to all these years? You know, I mean, they've not been talking to each other on the bike. Well, one, <laughs> my wife's probably been quite happy not to listen to me playing the bike uh. because uh, <laughs> because Paul, the majority of the time, I probably shout. Like that guy there, you probably would have shouted if I wasn't on it. Exactly, you know. <laughs> so, she probably doesn't want to listen to me. And two, you know, like, Sarah likes to sing away to herself. I like to listen to music with my uh, street lights. So it's like, well, you know, we've always said, right, I'll, see you in, I'll speak to you when I see you in 30 miles. Yeah. And if you, if you need fuel, pull up alongside me and point at your fuel tank. Yeah. If you're hungry, point at your stomach. <laughs> and if you're pissed off, just give me the bugs. <laughs> but it just go flying by you because I'm in the mood. <laughs> right, exactly. So, so I, but one of the things I will say, and I mean, people are not going to just watch this for the center. Like, we've got the 10C Evo, mm-hmm. and like, obviously we've got it because we can do quite a lot with it. You know, we can record 4K, we can talk, and we can do an audio for our, hopefully for our YouTube stuff. And, mm-hmm. Oh, it, it, it's not worth asking, but I think one of the biggest things for me now is that for, is for you. Now, I know you're going to think, you know I mean, it's 21st century and everybody's watching this and this, but when I'm away working, everybody who's probably watching this knows that I'll, I'll work away now. Mm. When, when I'm away, you ride your bike, and heaven forbid anything was ever happened. Yeah. If you've got your center on mm-hmm. and you're recording, mm-hmm. right, and which I would hope you do anyway, yeah. You know, like, no matter what the journey is, it's like, at least I know that there's something there to say. If it was your own fault, you know, thing, then at least you can say you made a mistake and that was it. Yeah. Uh, whereas if it was accidentally from somebody else, mm-hmm. just watch that stuff in there, go to them. The, if it was somebody else that caused the, the problem, so there's a conflict of interest, at least you can say, well, I actually have video evidence here to say that it was like yourself who pulled out in front of me and yeah. not the other way around. So, exactly. You know, so I think, as I say, it is quite uh, a safety thing. It's like a dash cam for a car, yeah. but for us rather than a motorbike. So mm-hmm. I quite like it, you know. I, I do, I, I feel a bit safer or happier. That's probably the better word to use. Mm-hmm. Happier knowing that you have one of these on your, he- on your helmet, you know, mm-hmm. kind of. Especially for me. You know. It's funny, a couple of weeks ago when I was out, I actually had like the GoPro on the front on my handlebars as well. Yeah. Um, and a car had kind of came up a bit quick behind me and was kind of like sitting right up. And um, I just like put my hand down at a safe bit and like pretended that I was adjusting the camera. Yeah. And like the guy like just totally backed right off right away. Wow, really? It was yeah. almost like I was like, he was obviously watching. Yeah. And he could see that, like, there's me adjusting it as if to say, well, I could be adjusting it more onto you kind of thing. And I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't, I literally just put my hand on it. I don't even think that the GoPro was recording, to be honest. Yeah. Um, and I, like, properly backed right off. Yeah. Um, so, so, everybody who's watching this um, is wondering maybe where we are. You've maybe seen the sign on the tail of camera there. I'll come up and it'll say head towards Edinburgh. Yeah. Got up the you know, Lovians part of Scotland, um, head towards the capital, close to where we actually live. Yeah. And uh, this is like, well, this is like a, what, this is like an A road, so it's it's not a quick road, but it's not as quick as maybe us, for us going the motorway. Yeah. I know the Americans call them the three ways, but everyone's watching this, this is like, 
kind of the way we prefer to ride the bikes. It's a bit more controlled. Um, we feel a bit safer on the road, don't we, this way? Yeah. So, uh, and I think, you know, going forward, if we could always do it this way, we would. I know sometimes we have to get someplace, you know, like maybe if we're on a bike and we want to get there quicker, we'll all take the motorway, but we're not in that much of a rush today, we're just riding along, yeah. you know. What about so. what? From where, where we're actually going for the Starbucks, it's like 10 minutes away from the airport. Yeah, um, right. so. so the main Edinburgh airport, um, so it's pretty, pretty close to where we are, but also quite close to the city, so. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, actually oh. not a deep. <laughs> when I, 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 I usually just raise my fingers uh, on my right hand. Oh, right, okay. Because uh, I can't. Every time if I know that nobody goes back at me, I'm muffling them my helmet and I'll crush and swear and say, we're meant to be all put together, our bikers on the road, two wheels, and then you get these people who don't properly respond and I just go, well, I'm not doing it anymore. I'll just, no. I'll just, I'll just put my hands up. One room set for it all. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know, exactly. I think so, my biggest pet peeve though is like, wave into other bikers and not getting any acknowledgement. It's yeah, like that's right. My biggest, biggest, like, pet peeve is that. I, yeah. just don't, I just don't get it at all. I think, um, I think you'll find that, if I mean, I know, I know, in the UK, I know in Scotland or the UK especially, it's because the right always there. Yeah. I mean, this is, I mean, this is even, this is even as, uh, you know, like, sports bike Britain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody wants to run around the GSFR and, like Kawasaki and all these kind of things, and they won't really want to acknowledge the big, the hard, the hard names and all that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what causes it. It doesn't really bother me anymore. But yeah, it's just, it's just a culture thing. Yeah. Where it's me, I generally don't care. We're on the road. <laughs> I've had, I've had car drivers know me, and I think, and I think to myself, the reason that they're bothering at me. Is because they probably ride a bike in the car that day. Yeah, they're that used to know that they're another bike or that. Exactly, and the fact is that they can do that, I'm thinking, well, that's a base. Yeah. You know? Because when I'm crack at the moment, the ride for bike, I sometimes forget to even acknowledge anybody. Yeah. I just, I just like concentrate on the road and all the cars coming towards me and people turning off junctions and these crazy cars that want to pull out in front of me on the main road, you know, they get that junction in the, in the little 1.2 cars, you know, but he, I'm going to pull out in front of this guy doing 70 miles an hour on his highway, and I'm like, please don't, I want to go home. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah, I want to go home so I can have a Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's exactly That's what I, I was saying. I think, uh, all in all, for today, I really are enjoying the fact that we can sit and talk to each other on these evos. We're enjoying the sunshine yep. and we're going to go and see if we can get a pink trick. Can't wait. Uh, can't can wait. wait. So I'll, go, I'll assume that what we'll do is uh, we'll show you once we get to Starbucks the pink trick in action. Yes. Right. So we are going to go and grab our coffees or pink drink in my case and we'll pop a bit of that footage in right here. And yep. that is us for the day. We're not going to record the rest of the day for here. We're just going to go and enjoy the sunshine. And we will see you all in the next video. See you later. Bye.